OK, so in this example, um, what I'm going to do is I have e to x minus 9. So before we've used one-to-one -one properties, and I'm going to go a little bit different direction in this case. Um, but rather than using my one-to-one -one properties, even if I was going to apply my one-to-one -one properties, I need to make sure I isolate my exponential. So to do that, I'm going to have to add 9 on both sides. Therefore, I have e to the x equals 29. Now, to solve this, I can use my one-to-one -one properties by taking the ln of both sides. So it would be ln e to the x equals ln of 29. Therefore, I just have x equals ln of 29. Or I could also just convert this to exponential form. By converting this to exponential form, since this is my base ln, I'm going to have ln of 29 equals x. So you can see it's a very simple process to be able to get to the exact same method. Then, to find my value, I'm just going to have to take ln of 29. In this case, I'm going to have x equals approximately 3.37. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That is how um, you can solve an exponential equation. Thanks.